Well, Steve, commiserations. What are your thoughts after that 3-0? Um, it was obviously a tough night, and I think it was always going to be a tough night. We, had, we would have had to be really, really perfect in the game to, to get a result that we were after. I'm just really disappointed with the, with the goals. I think that, you know, to make the mistake that we made for the corner um, and then to be in, our, in their box in a decent position and then conceding, you know, an opportunity for them just to get down the side and get in is something that we talked about so much and we've, we've I wouldn't say we let them off the hook, they were obviously good in the game United, but we've just, we've given them, them opportunities too, too easy and then um, in general play, we stuck to the plan and it was okay. We didn't back ourselves, we didn't believe in ourselves enough with the ball, there were too many turnovers and too many uh, moments where, you know, I wanted us to feel like we're, we're big players on, on the big stage. And um, and if they, if we don't have that, then we're never going to make the most of decent opportunities. We you know we did get into some half decent positions first half, and never made the final pass or never, you know, had a real threat on on the goal. And we you know we nearly scored off the, the set piece, and I believe it's really tight. And but uh, <coughs> in the end, to to get something here, you've really really got to go and make a difference. And we just fell a bit short on that. Yeah, there were a, there were a few times, weren't there, where you, you seem to be getting a bit of a foothold in the game, mm. and maybe just. I suppose the difference in quality really yeah, compared to what they do in front nah, of goal sure. to, to you. For sure, we didn't show enough quality at the top of the pitch. Second half, we got some, you know, we had a little bit of momentum, we got some good positions. But it's one thing being in the positions, you've got to try and make something of it, and we, um, we didn't manage to do that. Um, what about that decision at the end of the first half? You can't catch a break with VAR, can you? I think probably because it's hit Willy Bolly, they've given offside, and they were checking in the first place for handball. Yeah, I haven't seen it back. Um, it took forever. Um, so I, I can't really comment on it. Um, I guess you have to try and trust the process on the offsides. But um, you know, by, um, I, I believe we're, we're unfortunate um, with the situation. I don't know if you've seen it back, but um, I can't really give give um, a comment. What I do think, if it had counted, you know, I think we could have got a bit of momentum in the game. And um, United obviously good here, whatever. But they did give us some moments to go and make a difference, and we just didn't we didn't take it. How do you compare, Steve, this performance to occasions where you've been to the likes of Arsenal and Manchester City? You seem to <coughs> yeah, offer different. more tonight. I just said to the boys, this wasn't a, an Arsenal, it wasn't a Leicester, it wasn't a, a, a Man City. Um, it was far from that, you know, um, and that's what makes it a little bit frustrating. I'm not saying we should have won the game tonight, but we had an opportunity to, have, to make more of an, an impact and a difference in, in the game. And... Um, in the end, the players have got to really believe in themselves. I just said to them, I really, really believe in them as a group, but they've got to believe in themselves as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, um, yeah, listen, as always, we'll learn. Um, I don't want us to accept defeat too easily. I just said that, and I thought the times we did today. Um, but, uh, but at the same time, it's done now, and we have to move on. What about a couple of your, your more attacking players? No Morgan Gibbs-White mm. again tonight. Uh, firstly, how's he? Yeah, yeah, he's OK. He's going to be out for a little while. <laughs> don't, don't exactly know <coughs> for how long, sorry. Um, but uh, a little bit inconclusive. He's been been a bit up and down in trying to to, to recover. Um, Jesse, I guess, is the other one that's come off. We felt his hamstring. So um, yeah, it's just you know a difficult situation in that part of the pitch. But you know, we got on with it. Is that Jesse one one that you were worried about? I know he had his, his leg heavily strapped, didn't he? Um, I'd say we, we we wouldn't have played him if we thought it, we, it was a worry. But as the game was going on, the amount of running he had to do in the game, he, he, he obviously felt something, and uh, we had to make the change quick because for sure we, we couldn't play, um, you know, with with people not 100 percent uh, from a physical sense. Um, and so focus on Chelsea again for uh, what, a few days' time, whatever it is. Sunday. Well, we got no choice. Um, we've got no choice. We have to, um, like I said, regroup. And, and I hope, I hope when the lads reflect on the game that they are frustrated. Because it's like you said, it's not. It, it wasn't some of the other, you know, heavy defeats we've had away from home. It was far different to that. We could have done a lot better in the game uh, than what we did if we'd showed a bit more belief and a bit more quality. So um, I hope that they're frustrated, but at the same time motivated to do better next time because we're more than capable. I suppose that belief has to come from results, doesn't it? I suppose you have to take it from the results you're getting from home to, to try and force that first one away from home. Definitely, if you like. yeah, def definitely, yeah. But um, like I said, we can only do it ourselves, and that's that's what uh, that's what we've got to focus on, you know. So don't feel sorry for ourselves. Like I said, there was some bits in the game which were were, were good, uh, uh, and you know some bits in the game where we should do better. But in in the end, we're in control of that.